So then guys, in a vital game for 7th place, Wolves have got revenge and beaten Watford 2-1. This is my Watford 1, Wolves 2 review. So let's get started. So I've got to start off with it was 7th v 8th. Watford are a great team. Wolves have already lost to them twice and Wolves have never lost to Watford three times in a season. And thankfully, that did not happen because normally we like to break those sort of records. No, instead we finally got a win over Watford. It's no surprise to see that the goal scorers were Jota and Jimenez helping each other out as usual. Jimenez with a good header and Jota with an easy finish. For Jimenez, our guys, he has done one thing for Wolves. He is the highest goal scorer for Wolves in the Premier League ever since Stephen Fletcher in 2011 and 12 for 12 goals. Whereas Jimenez has got 13 in the Premier League. So, 30 million? Yeah, I'll say it's a bargain. Wolves are four points clear in seventh place with Leicester playing Arsenal tomorrow. So if Leicester lose that match, which with playing Arsenal is very unlikely, Wolves will only need one win to secure seventh place in their first season back in the Premier League and possibly Europa League if Man City beat Watford in the final. So then guys, as I say, the first half was very close, both teams were in it and Wolves went in one the up thanks to Ralph. In the second half, oh guys, just four minutes in, just like me saying no to food or a British person saying no to something free, William Bennett gave the ball away, fantastic save from Patricio, but Wolverhampton-born Andre Gray tapped in the equaliser. After that though guys, for the rest of the second half, Wolves did respond very well, but so did Watford, both teams were in it to win it and both teams were going to go for it. And in the end, it was none other than Diogo Jota who may step up for Wolves and become the hero. Unlike the drink, Foster was a bad call. No, seriously though, guys, the second goal was another blunder. Warren Bennett made a bad one, then Foster made a bad one as well. We've never crossed the ball in. Ben Foster just went walkabouts and the Argo Jota just hammered it into an empty net and job was done. From there, West Watford, West Brom, Watford did go all out for the goal that took off a defender and brought on success. Unfortunately, he wasn't successful. Well, let's just carry on. And Wolves did have chances on the counter as well, with Jimenez just hitting the ball too hard through for Dorothy. The drama wasn't done there, though, guys, as Wolves should have had a penalty in stoppage time, but were denied one. And when I say Kebba Severly tackled the Wolves player in the box, you'll be like, no, it should be a penalty, but then again, it's Wolves. But when I say Kebba Severly tackled Diogo Jota in the box and did not touch the ball, then yes, it's obvious why the referee didn't give it. It's because it's Diogo Jota. Jota just doesn't get free kicks and penalties like that, does he? He's, he's a very skillful player. Defenders don't want him to run at them, don't want to face him. He bring he, he literally tempts tackles and that, sucks them in, megs them, whatever, makes them look embarrassed or whatever, so they target him. It happened last year, it's happening this year, and he just doesn't seem to get penalties out. At the start of the season, it's all right, but as the season goes on, it's just like the referee goes, no, you can't even bribe with a penalty. It's like he's got to give him all these rages just to get a penalty if he is actually fouled in the box, and even when he is fouled in the box, it's unlikely he's going to get one. Anyway, guys, for Wonder of the Week this week, it is tough. You know, there were a few incidents where we got away with a few things, like um, a, a poor ball and then it nearly made it through and the defence just recovered and Wayne Bennett giving away the ball for the goal cheaply. But you do also have to say that there were some good standout players as well. Now, I didn't watch the match, though, guys. What I do have to say is players that seem to spring to mind is Doherty, Johnny, Matinho, Neves and Jota and Jimenez. So that, those sort of players, you know... Sounds like everyone did at least their jobs and did well, but there were a few mistakes. But for me, guys, Wonder of the Week, for me, is going to go to Diago Jota, the hero himself, the one who got the winning goal, Diago Jota. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, unlike the blunders in the match, although we did like the Ben Foster one, considering he's the next Albion player as well. So if you did like the video, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section your thoughts and opinions on my video, the Wolves win, can we finish 7th, should we finish 7th, would you like us to finish and qualify for Europe or would you rather us finish 7th and not qualify for Europe, let me know in the comment section below and if you're new then subscribe and I'll speak to you guys later.